Hey folks, today I'm gonna teach you how to perform a very basic litmus test on your Mac. So if you are considering buying a new model, I hope this will help you decide if it is in fact time to make the purchase. That's coming up next on Tech Talk America. Hey folks, and welcome to the class. I wanted to make this video because many of my clients are on older Intel Macs and are starting to consider upgrading. In my experience, the best indicator of health of a Mac is to test the read and write speeds of the hard drive. I will teach you how to use a simple free app momentarily that will provide you with these two numbers. Now, please do me a favor and let me know in the comment section what your read and write speeds are and which model Mac you're using. It's not because I'm curious, it's because I want other people in a similar situation to be able to see the difference. At this point, I'd like you to go into the app store on your Mac and search for Black Magic Disk Speed Test. This tool measures the read and write performance of storage media in video frames, rates, and formats. For this test, 99% of you should not pay any attention to the information shown in the bottom half of the screen. We really only care about the two big numbers that it'll display at the top. Now I'd like you to go to the file menu and click on select target drive. Then we're gonna select a location on your hard drive. I always like to use the movies folder because that location does not talk to iCloud. If you don't have a shortcut to the movies folder in your sidebar, just press command shift and the letter H as in home, which will take you to the home folder. Now double click on the movies folder and click open. Okay, we're now ready to click the big start button. And unless you change the stress settings away from their default options, we'll see how long it takes to read and write five gigabytes of data. When it's done, it will repeat this test over and over until I tell it to stop. In my case, I have two computers. I have a 2019 16 inch Intel MacBook Pro with a solid state drive, which I use for most of the screen recordings that you see on this channel. My other computer, my main computer, is my 2022 Mac Studio with the M1 Max chip, which I use to edit that content. The read and write speeds on my MacBook Pro average right around 2,500 megabytes per second, which is pretty good, but then again, this is not an entry-level computer. By comparison, my Mac Studio doubles those speeds at 5,500 megabytes per second. At this point, let's talk about how to interpret your results. In my opinion, if your speeds exceed 200 megabytes per second, you passed the test. Yay! So you can probably hold off buying another computer, at least for now, unless you're doing something high-end like video editing. If your speeds are under 200 megabytes per second, and you fail, this is the part where we have a little come to Jesus meeting. There's a term in psychology called reframing, where you try to reframe bad news as a good thing. That being said, congratulations. You're about to be the owner of a brand new Mac. So what do you do now? The first thing that you should do is protect any data that you have that lives outside of iCloud Drive. If you're using an Intel-based Mac, I strongly suggest not using Migration Assistant to move your data. I can't begin to tell you how many problems I've seen when helping people recover from attempting to migrate their data from Intel to Apple Silicon with Migration Assistant. If you're using an Apple Silicon-based Mac, I have absolutely no problem with Migration Assistant. I suspect that some library file or files having to do with iCloud's ability to properly sync can corrupt when you use Migration Assistant. The result is files don't sync like they should. I've had multiple clients discover this the hard way, so for your own sanity, please avoid using Migration Assistant if you're upgrading from an Intel Mac. So what should you do? Actually, let me ask you another question. What would you pay to avoid sitting on the phone with AppleCare for multiple hours dealing with the consequences if it's done wrong? For less than $150, you can work with me remotely from the comfort of your own home. In most cases, I can help protect all of your data on the old machine and transfer it to the new machine, as well as make sure everything else is set up properly in one to two hours. Don't believe me? Check out my client's testimonials page on my website. If you're trying to decide which Mac to buy, be sure to check out my video from last week. Thanks for watching everyone. This is David A. Cox with Tech Talk America, class dismissed.